Pompano Beach is home to some of the most exquisite art in South Florida, beautifying neighborhoods with an array of different visuals and art experiences. And here with me now is Laura Atria, Programming Manager for the Pompano Beach Public Art Program. Laura, welcome to Inside South Florida. Hi, Jason. Thank you so much for having me. Glad to have you here with us this morning. Laura, tell us about the program. Uh, so the city adopted a 10-year public art master plan in 2015. Uh, shortly after I was hired to implement that plan. Um, I have been with the city for about five years and I'm really proud to be a part of the evolution of public art in Pompano Beach. Uh, through the hard work and commitment from the mayor, the commissioners, the public art committee and multiple city departments like public works, facilities and cultural affairs, Pompano's really created a diverse collection of public art. Laura, you mentioned evolution of art in Pompano Beach. What are the visitors and the residents of the community experiencing when it comes to art and the art installations? So uh, from murals like those in Artist Alley to a one mile stretch of honeybee themed mosaics to sculptures of all sizes throughout the city, these artworks not only beautify the area, they create economic development through placemaking by focusing on Pompano's assets and inspirations. Through the creation of these public spaces, uh, we promote people's overall well-being. Yes, absolutely. When it comes to deciding what art will be placed and where to place it, how does the committee make those decisions? I always find it super interesting. Like you said, the mural, who decides that location and says, hey, Let's put this right here for everyone to see. As I mentioned, uh, the city's 10 year public art master plan, the public art committee put a lot of thought and effort into creating that. And what that is, is it creates and sets up uh, activities and programs that we will do over the 10 years. And the city commissioners and the committee worked really hard uh, to do corridor studies and figure out the best possible locations for public art. So that's really how they're selected. There's a myriad of different types of art in parks that are a part of the program. Tell us about that, especially Shipwreck Park. That sounds like so much fun. So Shipwreck Park is really interesting. And I think it's one of the things that definitely sets Pompano Beach apart from other places. So Shipwreck Park is a 501c3 and the city had helped partner with them also with the Isle Casino. And they sunk a 324 foot tanker ship called the Lady Luck. Now aboard the Lady Luck um, is multiple art exhibits, which is very unique. So when it was first sunk, the public art committee partnered with them and had pieces already on the sculpture before it, or on the ship before it sank. And now what we're doing is bi yearly, we're commissioning artists to create artworks that we then place on land for a year and then sink and attach it to the ship. So it, 2020 in December, we sank uh, a piece called Pirate's Treasure Test by Donald Giolanella. He's a Florida artist as well. And that was a really fun and interesting piece to participate in. We worked with Shipwreck Park and South Florida Diving, who did just a great job. And we there's actually a video of it on our website and you can watch us sink it and attach it to the actual ship. We're currently working on our second one right now, and we should start commissioning that pretty soon. Wonderful. Very quickly, what are some other experiences and draws to the art, the art selections here in Papado Beach? Uh, well, we just installed a piece called Current by uh, California artist Michael Zabo, and it is 16 feet tall. It's gorgeous. It's in front of the Pompano Beach Cultural Center. Uh, it's made out of stainless steel, and then it's hand-painted patina and bronze on the outside. Uh, to me, it reflects an infinity symbol that's kind of pulled apart mm -hmm. that is very similar to the Cultural Center building itself. I think it's wonderful. Where can they go to find out more on all the art that is being featured in Pompano Beach? You can go to our website at pbpublicart.com. And I also encourage you to sign up for our artist network there uh, so that you can get updates on calls to artists and just activities and programs that we're doing. Awesome. Laura Atria, Programming Manager for the Pompano Beach Public Art Program. Glad to have you here on Inside South Florida. I'm new to the area, so I can't wait to get up to Pompano and check it out. It sounds like a lot of fun, and it's always great to see art being put on display that is telling stories and is truly compelling and is truly impactful. Thank you guys for all you do. Thank you so much.